friends and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I get my everyday beachy waves. This is a routine I do all the time throughout the year. I kind of take about three to four days in between washing my hair because my hair is naturally wavy and I doesn't do well when I over wash it. So you'll see that the night before when I know I need to like really give my hair some life again and make sure it's nice and clean, I go into this routine. The night before, I like to take a warm shower, and I like to use two of my favorite shampoo and conditioners, which is Big Sexy Hair. For me, this gives me a lot of volume, since curly hair can really get weighed down, and it can feel really heavy, and I like some volume on top of my head. So I'll dry it a little bit with a towel, and then I'll brush through it, because wavy hair can get knotty if you're not careful. But then if I know I'm gonna be using a little bit of a blow dryer, I will use a blow dry heat protector. I got that in a boxy charm, and I'll list it below. I just kind of run it through the ends of my hair, and I use the Pantene Curly Hair Gel. This is also optional, but I like to do it every now and again, but I will dilute it with some water sometimes. I'll mix it between my hands and scrunch my hair upwards. I don't use a ton of product, but I do like to have a little bit of control because when it's humid and hot outside, it can kind of go crazy. I also put it towards the top of my head for some little bit of volume up there, and then I shoot at him with the blow dryer as well as he goes by. And then I blow dry more of the ends and then a little bit towards the scalp of my head just kind of get some volume up. This is totally optional. There's plenty of times I don't do this, especially in the winter time. And then you'll see I pull it up on top of my head with like a little poof and I put a little clip up there. You can also use bobby pins just so it has some volume at the very top of your head. Again, curly wavy hair can weigh it down. Then I take a little ponytail holder and do a messy top knot on the top of my head. And then I just kind of pull the bun a little bit. And then pull the top as well, because again, I'm always looking for volume when it's done. Now I'm gonna go to bed and sleep with my hair up in the top knot. So it will still be wet inside, and that is perfectly okay. Now this morning, I had to get up super early for boot camp. I have a 5 a.m. boot camp, so usually I need to readjust my top knot because Throughout the night, it's become a little loose. So as you'll see, I'll kind of tug it out, but I try to be a little careful with it so I don't pull any extra hair out, but my hair is very thick, so it's a little difficult sometimes. But I do that same little bump in the front to give it some volume for when I do finally take it down at the end of this, and I put the top knot back up. But I do it a little snugger because I know I'm gonna be doing some sprinting in boot camp, doing some weights, so I don't want it to come down, and I just kind of pull it out, poof it up, just like I did the night before. Now on to boot camp. It is such a good feeling after boot camp. You feel so awake. Yeah, you feel sweaty, but you're in such a good mood. It's a great way to get my day started. But now, because it happens to be a boot camp day, I do need another shower. But as you're gonna see, I leave my hair up in the top knot. I start the shower, I kind of rinse off my body, wash my face, but that hair stays up but the moisture from the shower can actually also help the curls to hold intact, so it doesn't hurt to take a second shower the next day just to kind of get clean, feel fresh. Now it's time for my favorite, which is morning time coffee and makeup. Kind of go through my entire routine, still with my hair up, so it continues to let the moisture dry from my workout, from my shower, but also it's holding that curl and giving that long lasting feel. Now the makeup's done, here we go. We get to see how the hair looks. And it may still be a little damp when you pull it out, but it will definitely dry throughout the morning. Mine's usually dry by the time I get to work. I do a little fluffing, kind of pull it up, do some upward scrunching. kind of let it fall as it wants to. And the next little tip is also optional. I will sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes put hairspray in just to really hold the curl. Now this is a tip I learned from a hairstylist while I was on a photo shoot once, where you flip your hair side to side and upside down and really get the, the mist all over your hair where it's not too thick of a spray of hairspray, but just enough to keep the body going so it's still touchable. 
and that is how I get my daily beachy waves and a little bit of my morning routine as well. Hours later, my hair still stays nice and wavy and it's still got that summer flowy vibe so you still have that nice beachy messy hair. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. If you like tutorials like this, please smash that thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye friends. I'll put you in my blooper reel. Put this in my blooper reel. Where's your head?